Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, we were trying to make our way through the ruins, and a fuck ton of death lords, as we're seeing right now, keep getting in our way, because they are a tougher enemy, and the game has decided to throw fuck tons at me. I currently count a dozen so far have been thrown at me through this dungeon. So, what we're going to have to do is try and make sure I kill them really quickly one at a time. I've also enchanted up my sword a little bit, so it should help out the fight a little bit more. There we go. Uh, with the double... Well, yeah, you saw it there. <laughs> double stacking an enchantment, which is one of my favorites, uh, for health regen, well, vampire, absorb health, you know, anyway, and the fiery soul gem uh, enchantment. My brain's a little off, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm trying to get this uh, done as fast as possible, because all of this fight, all of this fight we've had to deal with thus far has been an or deal what just killed me in one shot what the hell just killed me in one shot uh what What? I have no idea what just happened there. I was trying to get everything out in one go while I was trying to fight them and take them out. I did not realize that was going to happen. Oh, oh that's one of those each. Okay. Okay, let's do... That's not what I want to do. I want to zoom out to third person. There we go. There we go. Alright. Kill this one dead. Ah, oh, come on. And down we go. Ow. Why did that hurt so much? Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Whoop. Oh, okay. There we go. That's what I thought was going to happen. What the fuck? Why? Down so low. How am I supposed to fight all of that at once? What in the hell? What in the hell is that? Jesus. Okay. I'm going to pop all that. Pop. What do I have stronger? Um... Ultimate healing. That eh, seems to be I'm going to need one of those. Um, yeah, a couple of those. What in the fuck? Why am I getting damaged so much? What the fuck? Okay, let, we got to pop one of these. There we go. And, okay. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna leave that body alone for now. There we go. I'm just hoping that that guy keeps missing. Because at this point, anytime I fall down, is a death sentence. And. Oh, jeez. I was hoping that that wouldn't kill me. And there we go. Holy fuck. Holy shit! Why would you do this to me, game? Why would you throw so much at me like that? Why? Why? Do you hate me that much?
okay, this is either 11 or an actual dozen of Death Lords that I fought thus far in this fucking ruin. That has almost ruined me. That actually has ruined me about three times now. Jeez. What in the hell? I have never seen this. I have never, ever seen this. Bethesda, is this you're doing? Did you release a patch? You know, well, after I started my series, that would lead up to this moment. Is this what's going on? Because I've never seen this shit happen. I've never seen it. The only reason I'm not throwing as much of a fuss is because it is making for quite the fucking episode. Oh, Jesus. Jeebus Lorenzo. Fuck a duba. Okay, where is the switch that's supposed to open this thing? I guess it must be down here. I can't really find out in this fucking area. Huh. Okay. Oh! I didn't realize that there was a little thing down here. Alright. Hmm. I don't remember that being there either. I'm going to open that up and someone's going to fall out of there, isn't it? I have a feeling that's going to happen. Because after what I've had to see thus far, <laughs> this last few bits of area, I'm not trusting a single thing about this game anymore. I'm not trusting a damn thing. Because apparently things will change in this game and I'm not aware of them until they start killing me. I do not have enough coffee for this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Draugr didn't come out of it, which is good. <sighs> Alright then. Now I guess I just need to find the way. That'll let me get out of this area and get further on in the fucking ruins. Blood Skull Barrow. That's what it is. Oh my. Fuck. I'm not playing this up. If any of you are thinking I'm playing this up, I'm not. This is legit the first time I've ever seen something like this happening. I've maybe seen five, five in a single ruin, and that's cumulative. I've never seen three of them in one room. I've never seen eleven of them total in a single area. That is, I, I, I've, I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand how I've played days, fucking days of this game and never, ever seen this sort of thing. I'm just amazed. And I just don't know what to think anymore. What do we got here? Ice Spike. Eh. Kind of worthless. For this character. Okay. Well, here goes something. Gonna see if any more enemies are going to be in the way. Up. Oh! Okay, we got a uh, probably common. I can't really see. Ow! Got me through the thing. There we 
we go. This is actually a petty. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> it's, it's another fucking death lord. My kingdom for never seeing another death lord in this fucking area. Can I have that? Please. I don't think I can. Given how this game feels about me thus far. But you know, a man can hope. Hope and dream that maybe it'll become a reality. But until then... Ah! You little fuck! Oh, you snuck that behind me. Oh, jeez. Usually they put that in front of you. Uh. <laughs> Can you see it from this area? You can. These walls look like dwarf architecture. At least a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'm giving the dwarves too much credit. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure the way I'm supposed to go is this way. And again, it's going to slam to the stairs. It's fine. Alright. Yep. Fuck. God damn it. Okay. There we go. Perfect. And ultimate healing. Nice. After all of the shit I went through, I kind of need some ultimate healing potions. And once again, I trigger the damn thing. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Because you know what? For all the shit I've just been through, I no longer care. Huh. From the way the story was told, it sounded like he fell down from the place. Huh. You know what? I'm starting to think <laughs> Bethesda actually did release a post-patch just to fuck with me because <laughs> I've never uh, I there's a whole bunch of shit I've never seen out of this before and it's just mind boggling okay Milius one of the skeletons of, I guess I think that's a skeleton of the guy's grandfather's companion, maybe? I think so. And... Where's the guy himself? Russian Corellius. Yep. That's the guy. Blood Skull Blade, huh? That is a lot of damage. Then again, it is, I assume, a two-handed weapon. So that's probably why there's so much damage I can do with it. Releases energy blasts with power attacks that deal thunder E damage. Huh. Alrighty then. Aggression's journal, huh? Let's read this up. Received a letter from the East Empire Company today. They say that some of the miners broke through the wall in Shaft 3 of Raven Rock. <clears throat> Sorry, Raven Rock Mine. It looked like there was a period there. And found some ruins. I hope it isn't another waste of time like that fiasco they sent me to in Cyrodiil. I'll gather my assistant, Milius, and sail back to Raven Rock at first light. It'll be nice to see the old house in Solstheim again. Alrighty. Finally arrived in Raven Rock and was surprised at the number of dark elf refugees leaving, living in town. They aren't really from mining stock, but I think they'll make fine workers one day. Milius and I spend a good part of the day clean, uh, cleaning the ash off the roof of my house. The damn volcano is still erupting almost day and night. If it wasn't for the ash covering everything, it would look almost beautiful. Well, that's sometimes how it works. Milius and I are heading into Raven Rock Mine to have a look at whatever it is the miners uncovered. Uh, my mouth is deciding not to cooperate with me. <coughs> I think I'll stop by the old swing and scoop and pick up a few supplies before we head down. Couldn't hurt to be prepared. Uh, you're probably right on that much. Looks like the miners broke right through the wall of an old Nordic barrow. Yippee. 
I've seen this sort of thing in Skyrim before. Damn nords have barrows dotting the landscape and almost none of them are ever marked on any maps. Yep. Looks like this barrow belonged to... S looks like this barrow belong... I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be belongs. That's that. You really need to start doing spell check. To something called the Blood Skull Clan. I'm going to take some rubbings of the inscriptions on the tombs and see if I can't learn some more information from my history books. Alrighty. It's been a few days, and I can't find even a single mention of this clan anywhere. Milius and I decided to proceed ahead. We've come to a drop-down point, but I can see a massive chamber below. It took the better part of a day to lower everything down and climb down there, down the almost sheer drop. Oh, Jesus, Hubert Horatio Christ, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ah, man, I'm still not fully here yet. Uh, give me a moment. It's been an astonishing day of discovery. After exploring the large chamber beyond the drop-off, I was starting to find... I was startled to find the strangest weapon I've ever laid eyes upon sitting in a pedestal of sorts. The blade appeared to be flawless and is emitting a faint, chilling glow. Bits of parchment I found about the chamber seem to call this the Blood Skull Blade. Not certain if I should remove it yet. I think I'll sleep on it. And that's the blade that we just picked up. I've decided against my own better judgment to remove the blood skull blade from its pedestal. Milius seems completely against it, but we need to bring this wonderf <laughs> wondrous artifact with us when we find a way out of the barrow. Well, yeah, you kind of have to at this point. I should have listened to Milius. The moment the blade was lifted, we were set upon by Draugr. Milius fought bravely, but he fell. I was able to destroy the remaining ones, but I was badly wounded. I can barely stand. My only chance would be finding a way out of this place, but I fear that I'm trapped. And he doesn't know what day it is anymore, which makes sense, considering he's been stuck down here the entire time. Exploring has been slow. I can only move for maybe a few minutes at a time before I have to rest. My supplies are running low, and I'm feeling weaker by the hour. The only progress I've made is finding a strange door with markings on it that I've never seen. Oh, that's the door that's right in front of us. There appears to be something to them I'm missing, as they've confounded my attempts at getting through. I'll have to study this further in order to make any progress. Barely can keep awake. I'm fairly certain that the key to the door involves the use of the Blood Skull Blade. When swinging the weapon, I'm noticing a ribbon of mystical energy emanating from it. I think by swinging the sword in different directions, it's possible to manipulate this ribbon and solve whatever puzzle this door presents. I hope to get well enough to push this to put this to the test soon. Each swing is a huge effort. Last entry. I've lost track of time and my strength is fading. I can't even stand anymore. My wounds refuse to heal. Oh, jeez. I'm afraid this tomb will become, a rest will become my resting place. If anyone finds this journal, please send these notes to my superiors at the East Empire Company and tell my wife that I love her. May RK guide me to my final rest. I'll have to keep this for, uh, him. Yep. Escape. Let's go. Barrow. That's easier said than done. But, considering apparently this is required to do so, and I like that because it's a quest item, it's not causing it to be any weight for me. Uh oh! Yeah, he was on to something. Alright. There we are, and there we are, alright, and there we go, Whoop. I just fell off the damn thing, and one last strike, and it is open, and there's a bunch of traps, great. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get through this easily, now am I? That would be too fortunate. Yes, you've already seen what this game thinks of me thus far. Eleven fucking death warts. Okay. Well, let's continue on and see how this works out. Okay. Alright. Oh, come on. I thought I would get a break once I get past that point. Okay, there we go. Alright. Ow. 
Okay. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything, but it doesn't look like there's anything to miss. So, just need to run through. Run through, and there we go. Shut them all off. Whew! Holy shit. This Blood Skull Blade looks awesome, though. Give it that much. But, uh, I should probably have my own great sword on me. For right now. Alright. I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save a bit. I'm gonna get rid of those. Because I don't like having auto saves just sitting there. Because things can and won't go wrong with them. And... I'm just hoping no one pops out of the woodwork as soon as I grab whatever's in that chest. Yep. I knew it. Two gold. Okay. Oh, great. Fantastic. He's over the water, so I can't hit him. Okay, come on. Sacrisos. Okay, so it's Dragon Priest as much, and it is that much, from the get-go. Okay, he is able to do a lot of damage to me with whatever the fuck that was. So I'm going to pop one of these. Okay, let's run real quick. Okay, come on. Oh, jeez. He's able to do it again. Okay. All right, we're going to play this game, huh? Okay, I'm going to pop one of these just to take the edge off of it. Um, do I have anything decently strong? I got these. And that'll do now. And I don't think these will do anything, but I'll try it just on the off chance. Uh, fuck. Why is it always these guys? Yeah, I knew it. Okay. And he's down to almost nothing. So, there we go. Whew. Zacrisos. Increases shock resistance and shock spell damage. Nice. Uh, two ash piles, huh? It's not good enough for one, he needs two? Alright, whatever. Holy fuck. Oh, this popped up and on its own accord. Okay. I'm gonna see what that is first before I grab whatever that thing on the pedestal is. Alrighty. Yeah, there's nothing really down here. Okay. 11 fucking Death Lords and a Dragon Priest for Dragon Aspect. Even trade. <laughs> Kinda even trade, I guess. Uh, maybe not. Uh, okay, I'm gonna end the episode here for right now. Because God fucking damn it. It's fucking place has been an ordeal. <sighs> Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more of the torture this game puts me through. And click the like button if you like this particular video of torture from this fucking game. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. <laughs> bring more people into this community. My bad. I yawned halfway through that. Talk about the games we're playing together and how much this game hates me. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and getting dragon shouts for you. <laughs>